You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Right at this point in time, from my own personal point of view, I now have two favoured Linux operating systems. OpenMAN Driver LX4, and clearly, and without a shadow of a doubt in the dead set Fed Income Department, MX Linux 19, specifically the October 21 snapshot. As far as I'm concerned, the developers over at MX Linux have absolutely smashed this one out of the park. Not only that, the new XFCE desktop, I think, is the best XFCE I've ever come across. 414 is quick, it's stable, and as far as I'm concerned, it's fairly lightweight. This video, I want to show you how I've got my MX Linux set up, why I love it, and the fact that now I'm really down to two Linux operating systems I use daily. Linux. Maybe Unix. Windows. This is the Backyard Tech System Setup and Product Review. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is, well it's not really System Setup and Product Review, but I'm just using that background to give you guys an idea. I've now officially installed MX19 October 21 snapshot onto every machine I've got. And it is absolutely phenomenal. Now, okay, there are gonna be those out there who hate MX Linux. That's fine, you, you can hate it. I don't care if you hate it, but you're not gonna get me to hate it. I love it. I think it and Man, Open Man Driver LX4 are my two go-to Linux operating systems now. They are, MX19 is dead set in the Fed Income Department, the best I've seen. Without a shadow of a doubt, I don't, Look, you can disagree with me all you like. You're not going to force me onto another Linux. I've been a big supporter of the Ferran OS devs, Ferran OS, but I, th I hate to say it, but MX smashes it out of the park. So what I want to do, I want to show you how I've got my MX19 set up out on my ESXi hypervisor. And um, basically, this thing is just, they, they've nailed it. They've absolutely smashed this one out of the park. Let's have a sticky beak. Okay, so with my MX19 out on ESXi, you can see here, I haven't got a standard test bench. I've got eight gear RAM, dual core CPU, and a 200 gig hard drive for it, thin provision. Now remembering, I don't run solid state storage media here. Okay, this is mechanical, but it's rip roaringly quick. All right, so let's boot the machine. I've got grub out at five seconds. I can change that if I want. I mean, it's just... Kudos to MX Linux developers from old mate here at Backyard Tech because you have absolutely nailed it. Now this is coming off mechanical media. So for those that loathe mechanical hard drives, yes, it probably feels like it's taking 400 million years to log in. I didn't grab the console. Just move myself up there. updates there I need to run which is fair enough but there are a lot of things I like about the new XFCE desktop environment the layout specifically but not only that how stable this is okay now according to Conky which is somewhat reliable you can see there I'm using less than 10% of the RAM apparently 7% only 2% of the hard drive and 1% of the CPU. To me, that is lightweight. 
Now, the Amex developers say it's a medium weight operating system. Look, anything under about 10 or 15% in cold, I consider lightweight. Okay, yes, I know Void and Gen 2 and others can get down as low as 230, 200 megs sitting there, but I'm looking at a common distro. I'm looking at a an easy to use distro. All right. So let me show you how I've got it all set up. I oh, know you're coming off mechanical storage. It just takes so long to do anything with. Okay, so basically I've left it pretty lightweight. All right, everything here matches upstairs. All right, essentially, other than this will have a couple of app, a couple more apps that I want to add to this that upstairs doesn't have. Not only that, the network pickup is rapid. All right, this picks up my shared system quicker than MX18.3 did much much quicker all right you can see it there um, the ssh is phenomenally quick as well really quick all right um, now the media pc is not being oh sorry the main pc is not being shared the media pc i haven't done the sharing on yet all right but you can see there it is Whatever they've done to XFCE to lighten it up a bit in a response time is phenomenally is phenomenal, All right? A couple of things that I'm not so liking, and that's these functions being on you know on the left of this. I prefer them on the right, but that's just personal. All right. Um, but you can see here. I mean, this is just we're going to um, a couple of things here. The MX Tools layout. All right great i mean they've done a fantastic job with this um boot repair boot options everything i mean you know i can change what i want how i want it's quicker it's more responsive grub has got more customization in it now as well now i don't have all the stuff i need for custom grub yet on this vm um but i've got enough at the moment the repo manager, some of the bugs in here have been sorted out. Now, for those of you that were running 18.3, you know that sometimes it was a little bit, you had to go through a few repos. It, this just works now. It's like a sun server. It just works, right? Absolutely fantastic setup here. Um, tweaks. I know, you guys are screaming at the fact of how long this is taking me to do everything on a mechanical drive. Um, the theming is fantastic. The config options are much better. Um, the appearances, there is some nice appearances there. But there's a lot, the, the new icons are far nicer too. I think there's better definition in the icons as well. The window manager is far better. Oh, I forgot to do that. There we go. Um, there's a heap more new, nice new Windows theme, or window themes, I should say, to use. Not Windows theme, window themes. So I love that. The new panel configuration. Oh. It's disappeared on me somewhere. Where'd you go? There you are. Panel preferences much more responsive to change okay um, not only that not only that but if we go into console now everyone's vomiting because I'm using freaking console instead of like terminal or X term or UX term or something like that 600 meg off 8 gig pretty good in fact it's very good as far as I'm concerned it is less than 10% of the RAM all right now okay if we had this on solid state storage yes it would fly in fact you'd boot up the VM you're in right I can wait a few seconds I'm not I'm not one of these people who you know turns on the computer needs to start working now 
So you can see here, just in idle, we've got 108 tasks, 155 threads, one running. The load averages are really good, like really good load averages. The other thing I like too, if I bring this up, okay, we're going to do this. Now, my internet's not great this morning, all right? You can see there I'm only coming down at 2.2 meg, right? Oh, 4.2 meg, I should say. So my internet isn't exactly flying, all right? I'm pulling most of my downloads from EvoWise, all right? You can see there I've got a Firefox update as well. But what I love about this is the opaqueness here. It's much easier for me to read personally, not just here in a VM, but also on all my other machines running MX Linux. Um, I love it. You know, I'm able to sit here. I've got, unfortunately, I've, got, I've still got LibreOffice installed into this. I will put WPS in it. Look at that. Job done. You know, um, I still got to get uh, a video editor into this as well, which I can do. But it's just this is the this is the best MX Linux I have ever seen. Now, obviously, there's no upgrade path from 18.3 to 19. It's literally, you know, trash the partition, start again. Okay, that's what you've got to do. You can't. There's no upgrade path because of the platform change both at the kernel level, at the Debian level, and at the XFCE level as well, because we're now on 414. But the developers over at XFCE, the developers at MX Linux, from Old Mate here in Victoria, Australia, you have absolutely dead set in the fed income department, smashed this. Let me go back to my preferred uh, terminal. I'll just show you the SSH performance as well. Hell of a lot faster. Hell of a lot faster. If I go yes, I'll go no on that. Sorry, hang on. See if I can get into another one. Uh, actually, I don't know. Oh, yes. Uh, no, I can't because I've only got one SSH, but I've blocked SSH to Plex. <laughs> so, yeah, well. But you can see that. Hell of a lot faster. Everything is so much quicker, so much faster, so much nicer on the eyes. All right. Um, what I like right off the bat, this was here straight up. I like that. Straight access. Okay. Um, if we like this, the etc. folder is much, much bigger, but that was always going to be the case. One other thing I like, too. Now, we're all familiar with that. All right. We all know what that does. It allows you to ha still have your web page open and multiple windows. It works properly now. I found in 18.3 that did not work properly. Now it does. Worked all right upstairs, but didn't work fantastic here in a VM. So to the developers over at MX, Old Mate is absolutely over the moon with new MX19, October 21 snapshot. Guys, look. If you love your MX Linux, you've got to go and get this because you are going to love using it. Not only that, VLC now works for me beautifully. It never used to work properly. Now it works like a dream. So really happy. And to give you guys an idea, the VLC you'll get with this is 308. All right. So there we are. Bit of a product review. Absolutely love MX19. This is the full version. This isn't the beta. This is the full October snapshot. So go and check it out for yourselves, guys. Stick around. More coming up. Have a good one. Cheers.